Structuralism is a theory of science that asserts that all aspects of reality are best understood in terms of empirical scientific constructs of entities and their relations, rather than in terms of concrete entities in themselves. Theoretical terms of classical physics, such as mass, get their meaning from the mathematical formulae and applications of the theory. F equals ma. Force is found from the mass and acceleration. Some of the entities present in such constructs are more easily measurable and more ubiquitous than others, and might elsewhere be regarded as empirical. Another way to see this is that such entities enter into applications not particular to one theory. Some of the entities of a theory may be present in more than one theory, and there may be overlap in the intended applications of the theories. This allows theory change to be better understood. For example, mass as in classical mechanics is different from that of relativistic mechanics. The means for its measurement do not need to be different, however. The Sneedian account of structuralism that I will show you is formalized using modern logic, set theory and model theory. First, a scientific theory comprises a set of models proper, the applications peculiar to that theory. This uses the theoretical and non-theoretical terms of the theory as well as its laws. There is a set of potential models. This has only the terms of the theory. There is a set of partial potential models. This contains terms that are not particular to the theory. Within this is the set of intended applications for the theory. The relation between M, MP and MPP is not simply one of sets and subsets, however. Rather, it is one of structures and substructures. To provide greater generality, power sets are actually used, that's to say the sets of all subsets. So that a term that's used in one model of a theory doesn't contradict its use in another model of that theory, constraints are introduced. Apart from constraints between models of the same theory, links between models of different theories may also be needed. These ideas are summarised in these graphics. They are based on those in the book Architectonic for Science. As an example, here is a reconstruction of classical collision mechanics. We see that the set of models contains mass, velocity and a set of particles, as well as the actual law for conservation of momentum. Although momentum isn't mentioned by name in this reconstruction. The set of potential models has the same terms, but the law of conservation is absent. Here is a reconstruction of relativistic collision mechanics. The main difference is the inclusion of an existence function. This is to allow that particles may be annihilated in a relativistic collision. 